Today we shall witness the signing into law of the Fiscal Year 2023 General Appropriations Act. May we request the President to sign House Bill Number 4488. Upon the President's signature, House Bill Number 4488 shall now become known as Republic Act Number 11936, entitled an act providing for the operation of the government of the Republic of the Philippines from January 1 to December 31, 2023. <laughs> Standing as witness are Vice President Sara Duterte Carpio, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri, House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin, Finance Secretary Benjamin Jokno, Budget and Management Secretary Amina Pangandaman, National Economic and Development Authority Secretary Arsenio Balisacan, Special Assistant to the President Antonio Ernesto Lagdameo Jr., Presidential Legislative Advisor Mark Leandro Mendoza, Senate Majority Leader Joel Villanueva, Senator Juan Edgardo Angara, Senator Aimee Marcos, Senator Cynthia Villar, House Majority Leader Jose Dalite, House Deputy Speaker Aurelio Gonzalez, House Minority Leader Marcelino Lebanan, Representative Elizalde Co, Representative Stella Luz Kimbo, Representative Ferdinand Alexander Marcos, and Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Felipe Medalia. Thank you, Mr. President. At this juncture, may we request the President to grant a photo opportunity. Thank you, Mr. President. May we request the witness to take their respective seats. We will be having a photo opportunity with the senators. Senators, please proceed in front. Thank you. For the next batch, we would like to request the first batch of the House of Representatives. Please prepare. Thank you.
BBM officials and staffs, please prepare. Thank you, Cabinet Secretaries, DBM officials and staffs. Please proceed in front. <laughs> Congressional Secretariat and PLLO officials, please prepare. Thank you, Batch 5. May we request Congressional Secretariat and PLLO officials to proceed in front. Thank you, Batch 6. May we request the President to remain on stage and everyone to, to take their respective seats. At this point, may we, may we invite the Executive Secretary, Lucas Bursamin, to introduce our keynote speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, for your introduction, our uh, Executive Secretary, Secretary Lucas uh, Bersamin. Please. Uh, Vice President uh, Indaisara Duterte. The Senate President, uh, Mig Subiri, the House Speaker, Speaker Martin Romualdez, members of the Cabinet, members of the Senate, uh, the um, 
members of the diplomatic corps who are uh, who have joined us at this historic moment uh, officials of the union of local authorities of the philippines the leaders from the business sectors of the philippines development partners in the international community fellow workers in government ladies and gentlemen good afternoon I have been greeted by many of you as we had our pictures taken. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, well, I will have, I suppose, a Merry Christmas because this is as fine a Christmas gift as can be received by any president from his legislature. I cannot overstate the significance of the fact that, as uh, Speaker Martin continually reminds me, this is the quickest and the fastest, and the SP, the fastest passage of the <laughs> national budget that we have seen so far. And why is that important? Well, it is important because the budget is essentially the roadmap or uh, that we are going, that it essentially defines and gives muscle to the roadmap of what we intend to do for the next year. And to see that uh, the, 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 the rapidity of the passage is significant because it means that this budget, the roadmap that we have proposed from the executive, is fully supported by our legislature. And that is very, very important indeed, because it is uh, what, what uh, is essentially or sometimes regarded as a long, difficult, long drawn out process has been, uh, uh, has been shown to still be able to express that kind of support, that kind of solidarity with the executive. And that bodes well for us. Uh, seeing as we have many, many plans, there are many things that we need to do. There are many things that we would like to do. And we are slowly moving in that, that direction. We are doing all the structural changes that we need. The legislature has been very cooperative in making what amendments that we, we, are, that we find are necessary to uh, the laws in terms of investment, in terms of uh, financial, uh, fi our financial policy. Uh, all of these uh, elements that are, con con that, that are important for us to position ourselves in the new, in the new, <laughs> I nearly said new society, uh, in the new, in the new uh, economy after the pandemic. So again, uh, it, it bodes well for our future. For the next year, at the very least, we know that we are all together and that we will be moving in a very in 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 the on the way to transformation of our economy and we will be moving in the same direction following the same plan following the same with, with the understanding that this is the best path to progress this is the best path to prosperity so it is an in, in a very important day uh, it is always an important day when we sign into law the uh, General Appropriations Act. It is uh, always very important that uh, the GAA is, uh, has been put together in uh, consonance with all of the plans of the executive. And that kind of uh, coordination and that kind of synergy that we will gain from that is going to be an essential part of the way that we move forward. And so I can only thank our friends in the legislature, the members of the Senate, uh, the members, of course, of the House, and the leadership in, uh, the, in, in our Senate President, uh, Mig Subiri, and our Speaker, Martin Romaldez, and all of those who I know have worked very, very hard. I had a picture with the uh, DBM and the DBM staff, and I've met with them before. It's the first time I've seen them smiling again, because tapos na yung trabaho nila. But they are, they are just one group who have been working very, very hard at this. Uh, and uh, we, have, we will not have achieved 
this kind of uh, consolidation and solidarity if not for all of your hard work in uh, uh, in th that includes uh, the, on the part of the executive to be able to uh, explain and to be able to to uh, uh, justify and validate uh, the plans that we had made to for the for the legislature and we have arrived now at this uh, at this uh, very important day and i thank you all once again and what you have what we have achieved here in terms of the fact that we have been able to put into place the budgeting requirements for all that it is that we plan to do and that we did it in record time that is a significant significant achievement and for that we i can only thank you all i know that it did not come easily uh, it never does i know that uh, you have worked very very hard at it and uh, i am just very happy to see that your hard work has borne such sweet fruit thank you very much and good afternoon and merry christmas to everyone